Hello friends and welcome to another stable diffusion video. So this time we are going to look at another web based user interface for running stable diffusion locally in your computers. This specific web UI is called invoke AI and I feel that uh, after automatic Lavin Lavin's web UI this has a lot of potential and at least in one area I feel that this is much better than automatic's Lavin Lavin. Now this is not a comparison or I'm not saying that automatic is bad or invoke AI is better. It's just that invoke's way of handling special outprinting is really great and I think this is how it should be done. And I hope that automatic Lavin Lavin also introduces that kind of outpainting to its own repository. So let's just start with how to install. Installation is very easy. Um, it's very much like uh, automatic Lavin Lavin. You download a small file and click on it and then it will download everything that's required. So you can download it from this link. I'll share the link with you. So over here you'll find that it has the source installer for Linux, Mac and Windows. And I've been told that the Mac version actually supports M1 and M2 Mac. So this is something that I'm yet to try. I will try it in my M1 MacBook here and see how it fares with speed of uh, creating images. So you can download the right package for yourself, uh, unzip the file and then run the uh, batch file that will install everything. Now one thing is that I already had GitHub and Python installed in my computer because I had to install them in order to run the automatic 11 web UI. So I'm not so sure if you really need that uh, previously, but I think that if you needed it anyway and if you didn't have those things installed, this will probably download and install uh, whatever it is that you require. Because from this note here, I do not see anywhere it's written that you need to have those pre-installed. I might be wrong. You should just uh, go through this document and find out if you need to install them. And if you do need to install them, please install them before downloading this one. So after installation, this is what uh, Invoke AI looks like. It's a very clean interface and I really like it. And all the important things that you need in order to create your AI images are actually there. You have the basic controls, how many images you want to create, how many steps you want to give, what is your CFG scale, your width, height and your sampler. And then if you want to go deeper into the settings, you can decide whether you want random seed or you want fixed seed. You can create variations from here. You can actually enable or disable face restoration, enable or disable upscaling, and you have a few other options. Uh, so all the options that you need are here and all the options that you don't need are not here, which is fine. On top of that, it has some GUI uh, options. For example, the image that you've created, you can actually share. Uh, you can send it to image to image or send it to the unified canvas which i'm going to go uh, very soon you can download it or you can open it in the viewer and some and a uh, few other uh, options that you have which is if you have used ai image generation uh, uis for some time you know what they are so let's just not waste any time let's just go to my favorite feature which is which is the unified canvas which is basically in painting out painting image generation in one canvas so this is the unified canvas, which is why I really like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this thing works. Now, not necessarily that it's going to be a successful outpainting image generation, but, but I did a few experiments and it makes a lot of sense and it sort of gave me a clear idea about how to go about it. So let's create the first image that I wanted to generate, which is this one, but let's generate it again. So I've just generated an, so I have just generated an image. Now, before we go into the outpainting, I just wanted to show you a few other things. It's that it has a very uh, nice sort of a, a gallery where it shows your generations. So, so if you're working on something and you want to pick up another image and perhaps check its uh, prompt, you can actually do it from here. You can click here. You can click here and right click and use the prompt and the prompt will actually come back here. Uh, we don't want to do that. So we can undo. So this is another great feature which I like that is it has this undo feature. So if I undo, this thing goes away, but it's not absolutely deleted because it's actually in the memory. So you can sort of just redo it and bring it back. So anyway, uh, let's bring back uh, the prompt that we used to create this one. So it's actually in our list um, because I created this before. So it's in the, so uh, the prompt came back and uh, of course, whether you want to use that prompt or not, you have to say that you want to use it or you want to cancel it. So I want to use it, accept it. So I said accept. So after you have accepted it, now you can actually do your 
you know, masking and out painting and in painting and everything. So I'm not going to do in painting. I'm just going to show you how the out painting works. So as you can see, this is not a complete fox. So I'm just going to uh, drag this uh, canvas towards the right and use the same uh, uh, prompt. And let's see if uh, uh, the out painting can actually complete this image. Uh, now you have to remember that when you're out painting, you sort of have to leave a quite a bit of the uh, the out painting area into the previous image so that the AI knows how to continue from this generation. Wow, so I think this was able to do a very good job, created a very good sort of complete fox from uh, the previous half of the image. I really liking it, so I'll just accept this. So this is a very good out painting. And now maybe I'm going to just try some in painting. So maybe I'm going to say that a lazy dog. Um, so just going to write a lazy dog and see if the AI can create a lazy dog for me. Mm, okay. Okay. So it did not actually create uh, the lazy dog. Perhaps you can in paint it and create the lazy dog. So let's just go to our brush tool. And let's draw a mask here. Um, maybe you want a lazy dog here. I don't know. I, I don't even know what's going to happen, but let's just try it. Uh, lazy dog. Or let's just say a lazy dog. And let's see what happens. Okay, so it created nothing actually. So perhaps there is something wrong in the way that I wrote the prompt. So I will not accept this. I will. Uh, I should just discard it. So I'll just discard it. And let's have a bigger uh, area to draw. And let's just write a big dog in the style of Gregorkowski. And also here, so I do I want to scale? So I think I want to scale. So I want to scale to uh, 512. So although I want to uh, paint a relatively small area, but what the AI will do is it will scale it up and then it will actually again put it back again. Uh, you have seen that the same thing is actually uh, available in uh, automatic 1111, where you can actually, if you're drawing smaller things, you can actually uh, draw it in a higher resolution and then scale it back. That's, uh, that's how we get like better details in smaller creations but let's not waste time let's just create this okay so i think you can just see the tail of a dog so clearly this is not going to work out the way i thought so i'm just going to pause it and do a few experiments and see if i can actually create a dog here okay friends so finally i was able to create an image of a dog in this image so the trick was that every image that you create using uh, this canvas is actually in a different uh, layer. So you have to merge all of these layers by clicking in this button. So when you merge all of these layers, so I think the AI is able to take everything into consideration, the entire frame or the entire image and then create this image. So this is something that I have learned about using this kind of uh, uh, unified canvas. So this is something that you learn today as well. So something that you like to keep in mind when you're doing your out painting. Oh, of course, the other thing I forgot the first time was I was not using the in painting. I was using uh, the stable division 1.5. So whenever you have to in painting, you have to change the model. So you can change the model from here. Actually, when you're installing Invoke, it asks you which of the models you want to install. So I only chose these two. So I was so at present I'm stuck with these two. So I'll show you that if you want to add other models, how you can do it. Now there is a limitation. Uh, because unlike automatic 1111, you cannot just download any checkpoint or any CKPT file and place it inside the models folder and start using it. There, at present, it seems that Invoke AI only supports handful of models, which goes well with its UI. So if you want to install models uh, other than the ones that you had earlier installed, or if there are newer models that are available for you to install, you have to do is you have to go to your invoke AI uh, folder, uh, and then from here, from here you need to click here in the invoke.bat and uh, select the developer mode. 
So I'm selecting developer mode by pressing 3. Inside the developer mode, you need to type in Python script backslash configure underscore invoke AI dot pi. And what it will do is it will actually uh, ask you to install the libraries from the very beginning. So it will ask you to install the uh, 1.5 checkpoints, the impending checkpoints, both of which I already have. So I'm going to say no to them, but I'm going to add uh, different, uh, the other checkpoints that are available, which I didn't install earlier. So here it's asking me if you want to download the recommended models or you want to do uh, download the customized list. So initially I only download the recommended models. So now I want to uh, download the customized list. So I'm going to say no here. Uh, okay, I'm going to say no here as well because I think I already downloaded this. And I'm going to say no here too because I don't I already downloaded this. I don't want stable evolution 1.4, so no. Yes, I want waifu, so I'm gonna say yes. Try not. Uh, yes. Uh, characters, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And anything. Uh, and yeah. So it's going to take a long time to download, but hopefully it will download. And properly install whatever uh, checkpoints and whatever configuration files that I need and hopefully use this model to generate interesting images. So I think that I have covered some of the important aspects and topics of Invoke AI. Especially want to cover the unified canvas and also want to cover how you can actually add more models uh, inside Invoke AI. So it's going to take some time for me to download these models and then I'm going to try a few more images and then I'm going to create another video as to how you can use those models and use this unified canvas and create some beautiful wide shot images or different types of images. So hopefully you will stay with me and I'll see you in the next video.